Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben. I am the founder and content creator for IncredibleTutorials.com. I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 9 tutorials. So let's get started. Real-time media connection in Anime Studio Pro allows us to update external files that have been imported into Anime Studio and have those changes be reflected in the Anime Studio software. For instance, let's say we import an audio file, and later on, we want to change the properties of that audio file. So we import it into an audio editing software, we make our changes, and then we save the file in the same location and as the same file name as the file we imported into Anime Studio. You'll instantly see the changes take effect in the Anime Studio software. All the changes you made to the audio file will now be in Anime Studio. So in order to demonstrate this, I have imported an image into Anime Studio. I've also opened the same image in Photoshop. So let's pop over to Photoshop. And now, to demonstrate this, I will go to Image, Mode, Grayscale. I'll hit Discard, and now my image is black and white. Next, I need to save this image as the same file name and in the same location of the file that we imported into Anime Studio. So I'll go to File, Save As, and then locate that directory. Change my extension here, and name it the same file name. And click Save. I will overwrite this file. Click OK. So now, when I go back into Anime Studio, we can see the image is now black and white. So let's say we want to make further changes to this image. We can go back now into Photoshop again, go to Filter, and let's choose the Colored Pencil Filter. So now we have adjusted the image once more. So once again, we'll need to go to File, Save As, Locate that directory, make sure that we have the same file format and the name, and click Save, and click OK. So now, once again, popping back over to Anime Studio, you'll see that that change has taken place. Now there is one more aspect to this. Let's say I go to my file browser, and I choose to move the image into another location. So I can just click and move this into the Images folder. Now, if I go back to Anime Studio, and making sure that I have saved this file, I close it, and now I reopen it, you'll see I get a box saying that the file cannot be located. This is the other portion of the real-time media connection. Because you are referencing external files, it's always best to keep them in secure directories that you know won't be moved or deleted. However, if this does happen to you, you can always locate the file manually by hitting yes, and then browsing to that file. And now, as you can see, I have re-imported the file back into Anime Studio. And that wraps up this lesson on the real-time media feature in Anime Studio Pro. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please check out the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching. I have many more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so please check those out, and I'll see you next time.